My name's Jamie Hindoff. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of BT Sport and BT TV. BT Sport has been around for about two and a half years and we launched in August 2013 with three linear channels and a supporting app. Uh, and we've since grown and uh, two years later we're the proud owners of 13 live channel outlets, um, plus one of those being the first UHD channel in Europe doing glass-to-glass -glass live sporting events. One of the critical aspects around building a 4K truck when there were no 4K trucks around and 4K workflows were, were pretty early um, was the switch. It's absolutely critical for us and, and we actually did a switch off. So, so we looked at all the different switches, we looked at what people were telling us they could do uh, and one of the key challenges we identified earlier on was we needed to be able to down convert to HD when capturing in 4K to give us that optionality. Uh, and to be absolutely frank, the kahuna from Sam was way above anything else that, um, that we looked at. Uh, and the other important thing was the Kahuna did what Sam told us it did, um, which sounds strange, but in this industry, a lot of people tell you a lot of things that can be done um, that don't actually happen. So it was, I think, strategically the most important decision we made that we got right. The, the thing that surprised me most about 4K live production was how easy it was to film it as HD. Um, so that comes down to camera positions. It's very much like giving a kid a machine gun with 4K in that you can shoot wider, you've got more detail um, what you're capturing, so therefore you can cut less. But the, what you have to remember is people are used to watching live football in a certain way um, and you need to retain the editorial relevance of how you're capturing a game. So I think it's very similar to a lot of other technologies. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. In theory, you can use a lot less cameras, you can, you can allow a game to flow a lot more, but is it what the audience wants? Or actually, do they want what they're used to in HD, cut in a similar way, uh, but with better quality pictures? And the other thing that has absolutely fascinated me, and again, this was down to working with Sam, actually, and bringing in the Kahuna Switch, was we have already done eight events where we have filmed in 4K and broadcast them live in HD. Um, and that was a lot easier than actually doing two separate productions, which we do for the majority um, of our workflow. So that's absolutely where we want to go. And the technology, it amazed me that, it was, it, that we had that capability to do that so early on. The difference for us around the SAM solution was the flexibility um, around how the switch operates and the down convert mechanism that it has within, um, within its infrastructure. Um, for us, that was by far the best product um, and it has proven to be absolutely critical to our longer term strategic overview about what we believe we can do with UHD and where we can take it.